Hello, I am Sonia Kinikwe, and this is Money Matters. Today, I'm going to start a topic that I'll break into two sides. And um, the side A, I'll be talking about what it's really all about, and I'll give two points, and then finish up with the remaining point in part B. And what's the topic of what I'll be talking about? It is how to become a world magnet how to become a wealth magnet you know quite a number of people know about money quite a number of people know about riches quite a number of people also know about wealth but i need to let you know that a number of people do not really understand the difference between wealth money and riches and how to attract it i'll be telling you how to go about all that after this break don't go away do you want to remain a tenant forever in your life do you want to continue paying landlord's expenses till you die? Are you tired of landlord harassment and embarrassment? Do you know you can become a landlord with ease? Do you want tenants to pay your expenses forever? If yes, then subscribe to Set Homes Limited Garden Phase 1, 2 and 3. Buy land with installment payments plan. Visit our website www.setgroupafrica.com or call 070-55-47-6135. Send email to admin at setgroupafrica.com. Yes, welcome back. And this is still Money Matters. And I am still Sonny Akinibe. Yeah, today I will be explaining what wealth is really all about. And the topic we'll be having today is how to become a wealth magnet. What is wealth? What is money? What is riches? Now, I need to quickly raise the point that wealth existed before money. Or maybe I should put it this way. Wealth has been before money came into existence. If I'm going to go by the history of how money came about, and going by the history of when the word money and wealth came about, in any of the cases, wealth came before money. And that means wealth is something that one should think of attracting, which is far, far more than money. But what is money? Money is a medium of exchange, or the real money is value. This is what I'm saying. Assuming I have a couple of laptops to sell, and each of the laptop costs not less than $100 each. And if I pick a laptop and sell it out to a buyer, I'll collect $100. Now, if I want to add five hundred dollar, what do I need to do? I need to have five laptops, look for five buyers that will give me hundred dollars for each of the laptop, and there I have five hundred dollars. So each time I want money, what I need to do is to create something or to get something that people are ready to pay for or give me money in exchange for, and then money comes to me. And that's what money is really all about. Now, when you talk about riches, riches is when you have so much money and it's so much in excess that you even need. And as a result of that, you now decide to use it for some other things that is beyond the basic thing. You know, you get a vehicle for yourself, you get some other luxury things. So, riches is when you have so much money. But wealth is a situation where you have enough of money you have good family, you have good friend, you have good health, you have good relationship with God, and every other thing that is good in life, you have it, including enough of money. And that's what wealth is all about. The word wealth came up in the year 1200, and when that word came up in the year 1200, it came from an Indo-European world. In fact, it's a compound word which is well teach 
W E L A and T H. W E L A, which means condition of, and then T H, which means being. Now, if we put the two together, it means the condition of well being. That is at a point, a point at which you are okay in every sphere of life. That is what wealth is all about. Now, if I'm going to break it down, I'm going to say in conclusion that wealth is a situation whereby you are making money with peace of mind and peace of life and fear of God. And that's what wealth is really all about. Then how do you attract that wealth to your life? I'll be telling you more about that when I come after this break. Don't touch the dial. Do you know money does not make you rich? Financial intelligence does. You can get a lot of financial intelligence from some affiliated books and CDs such as Money Intelligence for Couples. Inside this book, you'll discover 10 ways to manage a spendthrift partner, money before and during marriage, financial danger signs in marriage, 107 keys of improving your money married relationship. Becoming a money magnet wife. Inside this book, you discover women and money. Avoid money mistake they make. 21 business women can do to support themselves and families. Secret of the world richest woman. What to do when your husband loses his job. How to become a money magnet wife. Becoming a money magnet man. Inside this book, you discover ways to improve your financial status as a man. Secrets involved to boost your streams of income. How to complement love affair and money. General rudiment facts about men and money. 10 avoidable money mistakes men make. Money intelligence for men of God and ministries. Inside this book, you'll discover money members and ministries. Why some pastors are poor and how to avoid it. Why some churches are poor and how to avoid it. Why your church must be rich. How to make money and multiply it as a man of God. How to grow the wealth of your church and ministers. Five steps to become a millionaire in seven years. Inside this book, you'll discover where you are financially, the use of compound interest, how to reach your goal of being a millionaire. To order your copy, call 08069003886 or 08073769563. We will deliver at your doorstep or mail us at admin at setgroupafrica.com or visit CRM Bookshop at Redemption Camp. Success Digest Bookshop or visit us at so 311-525 Agege Motor Road, Ladipo, Alasia, Oshodi, Lagos. And if you're out of Nigeria, we can send you the e-version when we confirm your payment. money matters now what are the things that will make you a wealth magnet i've explained what wealth is and um, this week i'll be doing um free books for the first 40 subscriber to my money magnet newsletter so if you subscribe to that newsletter you'll be able to get details of most of the things i've said now back to what we're saying how do you attract wealth? Wealth can be attracted and I can give you five secrets straight away. Number one secret I'll be giving you today is for you to become a wealth magnet, you have to change your thinking. As a man thinks in his heart, so that man will become. If you think you are poor, poverty will manifest in your life. See, if you think that billionaire is just a matter of time, you will see billion manifesting in your life. And that's what happens. Anytime you change your thoughts, you have changed the direction of your life. In fact, 
I came to realize that the difference between God and man, one of the major differences is in our thoughts. You know, God said in the scriptures that as the heavens are higher than the head, so are my ways higher than your ways. So we can come to a conclusion that God's ways and methods are higher than our method because his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And that is to say, any time your thinking is better off, you have a better life. So, if you want to start magnetizing world, start thinking things that will help you to magnetize world. Start thinking you're a wealthy man. Start thinking you're a successful man. Stop thinking what is evil about yourself. I know there may be problems in your life. I know there may be so many situations that is making you gloomy, sad, despondent, and very, very discouraged. But the truth is that, it's only a fool that is not discouraged and it's only a fool that remains discouraged. You have to move out from that position, position yourself to come to a level where you start thinking something beautiful about yourself, about your future. And that takes me to the next point. One of the basic things that can help you to think very well about yourself and start magnetizing world is what you read, what you see, and what you hear. And that leads us to the second secret that can make you a world magnet, which is financial knowledge. See, you can never be richer than the depth of your knowledge. Maybe I should take it this way. Your knowledge determines the limit of how much wealth you can acquire in your life. And I must say this very straight away, that no man is richer than his ignorance. If you discover the level of how much you know, that is how much you can have. Do you see somebody that is richer than you? Then I can show you a man that is knows more than you. So all you need to do to be a world magnet is open yourself up to financial knowledge. Read financial book, listen to financial CDs, attend financial seminars. As much as possible, I am here to help you. And um, just like I said the other time, if you can go to www.sumiakinikwe.com, it's showing on your screen right now. And on that note, I will close today. If you want to subscribe to my Money Magnets newsletter so that you can get all this financial information, I will advise you, check the website on the screen right now, go there and subscribe to the Money Magnet newsletter. If you are not with um, the internet facility now, you could also just uh, send an SMS to subscribe and then you could also do me a mail by the email you see on the screen. My purpose of being here is to help you out no matter what you are going through financially. It's my concern and it's my joy to provide solution to all your financial problems. So as much as possible, do the mails, send the text, make the calls, and as you do that, you will get a response. And next week, I'll be telling you the three remaining secrets that is going to make you a world magnet. It's like on your way next time. I am Samia Kenipe. And I'm saying, remain financially intelligent.